Good morning, good morning. It's Monday, it's 3.55 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym, feeling good. I had a great weekend, spent... I swear, I think the older I get, the more and more I appreciate and love my family. Now to them, um, I may not have changed, I may not be different, I may be the same person, um, I may be who I actually am. Um, typically when you're relaxed, you, you're more of yourself than anything else, which is... Uh, could be a good or a bad thing. I don't. I don't really know. You'd have to ask one of them. But uh, <laughs> you definitely start appreciating one another the older you get. And my my prayers are that our kids will appreciate us now uh, versus letting 15, 20, 30 years go by uh, in order to get that appreciation because that's a lot of time that could have been spent uh, better. You know. But kids are kids. I mean, they, they think they know it all. <laughs> this morning I was getting ready, and I, I write my family letters um, periodically. I'll write them letters, and I'll typically write the letter before I leave, and it's usually at a moment where I feel like there's something I need to share that maybe they need to hear, specifically from me, and not out of my mouth because I think I think my family is tired of hearing my mouth. Just saying. But at the point that I write it down, I really want them to feel and understand that whatever their destiny in life is, is, is not to be taken for granted. And it's not something to be taken lightly in the sense every single day is is great every single day is a blessing i'm gonna tell you something that helps me and i do it pretty often every day multiple times a day and it, and it kind of it kind of goes to this this thinking or this way of being is and i'll speak specifically about older men when you get in your i don't know 60s you know 70s there are certain things that become a little bit harder to do. Uh, for instance, using the restroom, number one or number two, becomes a little bit harder to do. And I, I knew that from going into public restrooms and seeing older gentlemen standing there. Um, it would take them a while to urinate, you know, piss, whatever. And... Now, I just kind of say, God, thank you for making this easy. You know, it's just in things like that. And I know that's see, some people, oh, that's gross. It's, it's life. It's, it's a part of life. And at some point in time, things that came easy to you will not always come easy to you. Getting out the bed when you're a kid comes easy to you. Hell, my son gets out right now. He flies through the house, jumps in my bed, and starts beating me up. It comes easy to him. Then at a certain point, the body doesn't want to move like that, and then it doesn't become so easy. What I'm saying is, is there's there are so many things throughout a given day that there is to be thankful for. Hell, when I drive into the gym right now, I might go through every green light. I'll be thankful for it. When I started the car up and it started, I, I was thankful for it. There are so many things to keep me encouraged. But to some people, I, I think they could just be taken for granted. Like using the restroom. I'm thankful for that. Something as stupid as using the restroom. Because I know that at a certain point in my life, maybe that's not going to be something so easy I can do. Getting up in the morning with the ease that I, I can. I'm thankful for. Turning on the lights. I'm thankful for. It's crazy how your mind could start looking, especially when you're you're building and you're 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 striving to get to a point in your life where you finally address that voice in your body and your mind that's saying go after it go get it don't stop keep going that little small voice that keeps telling you that there's something else you need to be doing and you're going after it and it's hard 
it's crazy how you pick up little tips and tricks along the way on how to stay encouraged. Thankful for using the restroom. I, I think that that's an all-time classic because that is the one thing we just do naturally. I don't I haven't got to the point where I'm thankful for air. But I'm thankful for using the restroom. I'm thankful for um you know the car starting. I'm thankful for the lights coming on. You know, these are just small things that I catch myself saying, "Thank you, God. Thank you." Cuz cuz it it didn't have to be. And those little small incremental thank yous give me power, strength and endurance. To go through so I, I asked my family when I, I wrote my note this morning so just find the small things anything I don't care what it is just find the small things to be thankful for hold on to it ride it like a wave trying to get you back to the shore and every single day we'll have everything that we need to power us through to get us to where we need to go I mean, that's not a bad way to start my Monday off. It's empowering. It's energetic. It's pretty good. I'm on my way. Peace out. God bless.